artwork and what inspired you to make it? Um, it's based off a famous pop art artist named um, Roy Lichtenstein and it's influenced by his work, his still lives and I added more of like the things I like into it so it was like a version of me but like with his style. Um, so the theme behind my specific artwork was sort of Southern Italian art, which is a lot of uh, tile work and lots of bright, colourful like flora and fauna. So I sort of decided to combine the two and make a mosaic with... Um, th this one in front of me is the specifically the blue part, but it goes around in a whole array of colours and when put together it makes a Basically just rainbow flowers. So it's just combining a lot of those things into something inspired by Southern Italian. So the theme behind my artwork is actually psychedelic art and the culture behind it. I was also very inspired by the artist Alex Gray. He's a famous psychedelic artist and he inspired me to do this as well as the fact that it's very to my own style and I like my night art. <laughs> So the theme behind it is Japanese art. I looked at e woodblock prints. Um, a lot of them were inspired by the red light district. Um, I looked at the koi and like the culture behind it and where they come from. So I ended up doing a koi fish. Did you come across any obstacles in the production of this piece and how did you overcome these? The main obstacle I came across was how I was going to split the image up to put across four canvases because I needed to see if there was going to be an overlay or if there was going to be gaps in the lines. I think the biggest obstacle would have been, um, like I said before, trying to work with recycled materials because obviously I didn't, um, I didn't have the availability to any tile colour under the sun. I had to try and find as many as I can of whatever colour I could to make the, all the analogous colours work together. Um, so that was a bit of a struggle, but um, with just a bit of patience, I think, just being able to look through all the tiles that I had, um, I was able to find the right amounts and ones that worked together. Explain the process of making this artwork. First, I like drew a practice one and then I improved it um, like to get the angles right. And then I decided to change it to like a cubic style. Yeah, and then I picked the colours, which was kind of hard to do, but after a while I just like chose different colours and then tried them out on my practice ones that printed them out. And then I picked which one just fit together and um, yeah. Uh, so I did most of these from pencil and paper first and then I proceeded to go over it with fine liner, erase all the pencil lines and then add more details and more details until I was happy with it. It took me a while because I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do straight away um, or because you have free range so I first I drew a lot of pictures to figure out what I wanted to do and then once I knew I wanted to do horses I drew a couple of pictures of just horses in different styles and everything and then I picked the horse I wanted to draw and I added some backgrounds to go with it, picked the background and then decided I wanted to do something more than just like a square or a rectangle, so I did a diamond.
Would you recommend this program to others and why? Yes, I would recommend this program to the younger people that are coming into the school because then they can try out new things that they haven't before and they might find out some talents that they didn't know they had and it's just a fun program. Yeah, definitely. I think the um, art program at Warwick is definitely, it's just, it's just a nice class to come into after, you know, like the stress of high school and everything. And it's just, yeah, it's just a nice class to be in. I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend the art program to other people that want to attend Warwick Senior High School or already attend Warwick Senior High School as it allows you to experiment with new things. I would recommend it. I think it's a really good program to do, especially if you like hands-on activities and not just like theory. Um, it's really creative and it's really fun. Yes, I would recommend the program to others. I think it is a good experience, even if you don't enjoy art and you don't think you're good at it, it's always good to give it a go.